Today, we are going to learn more about the capability of using Markdown in Google Docs, Slides, and Drawings. Recently, Google has made many enhancements on ways to format quickly and easily using the Markdown features. Let's get started. In this example today, we'll be using Google Docs. First thing we need to check is to make sure that we have the Markdown feature turned on. By default, it is turned off. So if you want to use this feature, you'll need to make sure you enable it. To enable the Markdown feature, you'll go up to Tools, Preferences, and check the box next to Automatically Detect Markdown, and click OK. Now that you've enabled the Markdown feature, let's learn how to use it. Let's first look on how to italicize a text using the Markdown feature. To format a text, to italicize it, you can enclose it with a single asterisk or underscore. So let's look at this example. If I go ahead and click the asterisk symbol, type the word hi, and close it with the asterisk, it will then italicize that word. Or I could use the underscore, type the word hi, and close it with another underscore, and it will italicize. Now, if you want to make a text bold, it's very similar to italicize, but just add an extra underscore or asterisk. So in this example, I would then click two asterisks, type the word high, close it with two asterisks, and it will make the word bold. Or use the underscore twice, type the word high, close it with two brackets or underscore, and you will see that it will make the word high bold. Next example is if you want the text to be bold and italicized, the following thing will need to take place. Just do three asterisks or underscores. So in this case, one, two, three, three asterisks, type the word high, three asterisks, closing it, and you will see that the word high is now bold and italicized. Same thing goes with underscore, three of them, and type the word, and you'll see that it is italicized and bold. The next example is how do you format text as a strike through? In this case, it's a single dash, the text closed with the single dash, and you will see the word high is striked through. Now let's create a link with Markdown. So this is an example. I'm going to go ahead and link the word Google to google.com. So to do that, I would need to start by typing in a bracket type the word that I want to appear in the rich text, close that word with the bracket, type the link starting with the parentheses, in this case, www.google.com, close that link with the parentheses, and change to rich text formatting. The last thing I wanna show you that's really helpful if you are a user that uses paragraph styling which is very useful when outlining long documents, you can use markdown features as well to make those elements the way you want to display. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the number key or the hashtag, whatever you wanna call, in a space and start typing in the header that I want, you will see that the text will change to the style paragraph that I have set. So if I want header two, I would do two asterisk space, start typing what I would want for that text. So in that case, I would type in the title for that. Third example would be if I wanted header three, I would type in three asterisk space, start typing that header that I want, and et cetera, and repeat that in the same order you would do for all six headers. If you're new to paragraph stylings, I would strongly encourage you to check out the resources in the YouTube description. But if you want, you can see that I have paragraph styling um, enabled and used. As you can see, I have different options here, header one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that can make it really easy as you are creating those long documents. So with that, I hope you enjoy this update to use Markdown's more frequently in your Google Docs, slides, and drawing without the use of keyboard shortcuts or using the toolbar to make your writing experience better. Thank you so much, and don't forget to check out the resources posted below.